Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am starving and very, very excited today. I'm going for overall win number 1,040, and I'm especially excited because I am back in the great Chicagoland area. I'm actually for the first time in Elgin, Illinois today, which is a suburb of Chicago. We have lots of people here, which is much appreciated. <laughs> And at Gabuto Burger, they serve burgers with a Japanese twist. And Gabuto actually is Japanese for joyful munching. I'm hoping to become the fourth person to dominate their Samurai Burger Challenge. Now, that hasn't been around for that long. Already lots of people have attempted this thing, including my friends Reina and Joel. They're both on the Wall of Fame, but I've only got 30 minutes to just totally shut up and eat all of this food here. There are basically five double burgers and sandwiches. We've got the top and bottom buns, and then when I think we've got six naan, we've got three layers of fried rice patties, we've got four one-third pound beef burger patties, two are marinated in their Gabuto sauce, and then two are marinated in a teriyaki sauce, four of their fried chicken patties, there's a carbonara sauce on two of them, and then two shrimp patties, there's like a Japanese tartar sauce on that. In between, there's a bunch of bacon, I know we've got lettuce and tomatoes, lots of cheeses too, 55 layers, there's a lot. But if I fail this thing in the 30 minute time limit, I've gotta pay $59.95. If you wanna try this, not as a challenge, but just order it for a group, it's just about $100. But if I do win, I'm going to get my entire burger for free. I will get a sweet t-shirt done to my collection. I'll be the fourth person with my name and photo up on the Wall of Fame. And best of all, I get to keep this sweet samurai sword that is in this giant burger. So let's get this challenge started. All right, coming off that big, delicious win in Rockford, Illinois yesterday, gonna dominate today. Big thank you to everybody here with Gabuto Burger for having me in. Joel was the very first winner. He finished in 8.57, and then Raina came in and she dominated, finished in 7.58. So that is the record to beat. I don't think that's gonna happen, and I don't think you guys wanna watch me try to beat that. Let's just shut up and eat. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. One, two, three. Boom! Now that we're still alive, oh yeah, okay, the sword is pretty deep. This is saucy. I would go to more Wisconsin fish fries if they all served this friggin' Japanese style tartar sauce. That is yummy. Cause I almost bit my finger. One of the sauces I forgot about earlier is a coconut curry. It is amazing, it's on this right now. I am really happy I don't have a whole lot of facial hair while I'm doing this, it would get really messy. This bacon is delicious, love this burger patty. And adding on to more stuff I didn't mention earlier, there's a couple of fried eggs on here too. New flavors in each layer, this is amazing. I'm doing one of the rice patties now. I feel like I'm running out of time, but I still have a lot of time left.
Six minutes, 40 seconds in. I think I'm gonna break the record. I basically got a minute to finish all this. I think I can do it. Yo, this is like seven layers right here. These beef burgers are very tasty. I think I'm gonna give it as my favorite part of this challenge, these layers of these shrimp burgers. These are amazing. So good with the Japanese tartar sauce. All right, we just hit 10 minutes in, so I got 20 minutes to go. There's a lot of eggs on here, but this bacon and the eggs, both very good. Oh, 11.27. Beef time. I think I've got one more after this. This whole challenge is very good. I'm glad I've got some extra time to be able to enjoy it, but I'm trying to get it done as quick as I can. This coconut curry sauce is delicious too on this chicken. I actually don't suggest getting this for your family because you're gonna have a bunch of fights over who gets what. Come back multiple times and just try each part separately. Oh, unless you're gluttonous like me. They do serve more than just Japanese flavors here. The naan, the coconut curry, there's a lot of options on the menu. I hope to be back next time I'm back in the Chicago area. This bottom one is like a uh, bacon, egg, and cheese burger. You saw all that saucy, delicious goodness. This bottom bun isn't just a greasy mess. So it says a lot about the quality and care and I guess everything they put into all this food here. So let's finish this and then we'll do the chicken. Almost done. <laughs> Leaving no doubt. Ah. I did finish the soda, but I do just want to clarify that that was not required. It just kind of worked out that way, but I did finish everything. 21 minutes and 48 seconds. Yeah. Not the record, but it is the number three time, so I am gonna be the fourth person up on the Wall of Fame. But yeah, I loved all 55 layers of that just deliciousness. And Ken, one of the three owners, is about to present me with my samurai sword. Okay. Thank you. I have a nice, beautiful washed one, so I will put this on my dresser in the master bedroom, won't I? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Katina's gonna get one as well, so we'll have matching sword fights, I guess, together in the future. Hey, phrasing! I am going to get my $59.95 meal for free. I'm also going to get a sweet t-shirt to add to my collection, and I will have my name and photo up on the wall of fame. But yeah, I cannot say enough about how good all of that food was. 
I especially, I think my number one favorite of the main entrees of that were those shrimp burger patties, loved those, but overall a very delicious challenge or samurai challenge here at Gabuto Burger located in Elgin, Illinois. I know they're working on expanding to other locations too, but yeah, it was overall win number 1,040. We've got another challenge, yes. We've got another challenge coming up actually in Chicago tomorrow at the 50-50. So thank you guys for watching.